Welcome back everybody, Gray Spartan here yet again with another crazy commentary and today I'm going to be talking about Destiny. Now the gameplay you are watching in the background is obviously not Destiny. This is the Simplex remake I made in Master Chief Collection and is readily available in my file share so if you want to download it uh, before uh, Halo 5 launches feel free to do so it is there and it plays pretty dang good in my opinion I wish I'd put it in matchmaking I tweeted Bravo but you know uh, he responds every once in a great while and I think I sent it off to some cartographers as well but I think they're pretty much not focusing on MCC right now they got Halo 5 within like it is practically just over a month by the time you're watching this video now this is a two-part video and like I said I am talking about destiny now the reason I want to talk about destiny is uh, because um, I had an interest and it is a bungee game uh, when it first launched back in vanilla days and I did not particularly like it uh, and I got taken King uh, as a matter of fact, it's downloading right now. Like I said, this is going to be a two-part video. And when I am done with this part, I wanted to say a preview as to what I didn't like about Destiny, what I kind of liked about it during vanilla settings. And then I want to give you the aspect I'm thinking about when I actually get my hands on the game and play it for a little bit. Because I tell you what, there's been a lot of videos out there from a lot of guys, Destiny guys, BBK. Uh, I'm sure Lurker's going to have one up here pretty quick um, as well. But they've been Destiny players since the beginning. They really enjoyed the game since the very beginning, which is fine. You know, I'm, I'm glad they found it and, and enjoyed it. Um, and I respect their opinions a lot, and that's why I'm even trying Destiny out again. Uh, just because uh, I really do respect what they say and how they say it and uh, how the, their arguments for everything. However, I wanted to give you guys kind of more of the pessimistic uh, uh, view on this game, on Destiny. And I think that's going to be probably more valuable to you guys that are on the fence. Do I get it? Do I not get it? Is it still... Is it any good yet, or is it not any good? Uh, is it still same old, same old? And that's what I wanted to give to you here. So what I liked about Destiny in the beginning, in vanilla, because it wasn't a complete hate experience. I, I did enjoy certain parts of it. Uh, the things I liked is the the large scale of things, though it really wasn't near the size that uh, Bungie was saying it was going to be. And which is a shame because it had such potential to be so much more. Um, I think the thing I like the absolute most about it uh, is the the actual gunplay. The gunplay felt very good, very satisfying, very smooth. But that's pretty much expected uh, from a, any type of bungee game. Uh, you know the gunplay is going to be very good. Now... That's pretty much where I left off with what I liked, which doesn't leave a whole lot now, does it? Um, so what did I didn't like? I did not like um, the story or pretty much the, the incomplete lack thereof. The story was 90% of it, I think, was online. It was... Um, uh, you had to go to Bungie.net or whatever it is, and you had to go there and read the grimoire cards as you unlocked as you went along the lines. And from what I've heard, it's a really fantastic story. However, um, it's not in game and it's not engaging. And if I got to go to a different place to to learn what the story is, uh, that's a big fail in my opinion. So by the time I got to the end of the game, I was like, Ugh. well, now what? You know, I had no, it was like, nah, you know, they had nothing else. It was like, well, the story is pretty much gone. So, um, so we started off with that. The story was completely lackluster. So I'm definitely going to be interested in seeing if they upgraded that. Uh, second thing, um, what they also did is the, uh, just the general roaming around the the patrol missions i thought those were really kind of lazy uh, all you had to do was just I, I i mean i think i literally 
spent probably about 20 minutes and I would go from one patrol mission to the other and it was the, the same ones because they kept respawning. He's like, yeah, okay, I'll go do that again and I'll go do that again and I'll do that again. So, yeah, that was a grind beyond grinds. I mean, at least uh, in World of Warcraft, it, then the missions and the uh, stuff was actually very interesting and they had different separate side stories that weren't particularly linked to the the main story because I remember a particular one where you had to go and find this stupid necklace and, and uh, do something for this farmer guy and 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 he fell in love with this other girl and it was it was just a stupid side story but you know what it was a reason to go do the side story and that's that's the patrol missions that's where they failed big time. Um, uh, what else, uh, honestly, uh, <laughs> do I even want to go into PvP? Now, I absolutely hated PvP, and as a matter of fact, I'm probably pretty sure I'm still going to hate PvP, uh, or the multiplayer side of it, you know what I mean? Um, the randomness of all the weapons, and you got the power weapons, meaning the power weapons you spawn with, and then the specials, and then, and then or the supers, that they call them, uh, those you get no matter what, and that was just so frustrating. I have honestly, I have never raged so hard in any game because there was just so much BS. Now, I understand some people like that stuff, which is fine, but man, when you're getting Nova bombed and you're insta dead, that's eh, just not fun to me. Uh, I did not care for that at all, or the sword dance, or whatever the heck all that stuff was. I, I absolutely really did not like the PvP, and, and I, I'm very much expecting that the same experience, because I think it's just the way I am. Um, but that is the large majority of the stuff I didn't like and liked uh, for Destiny. And so I'm kind of going to leave this off here, and we're going to uh, take this up uh, when I actually get some game time with it. And we're going to see what my opinions are at that point. Because I think, like I said, I think this is going to be a much more um, rounded uh, view over some of the other ones that have kind of been playing Destiny for a long time. They really enjoyed it from day one. And I think for those of you that are thinking, well, you know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, this might tell you one way or the other. So... But ultimately, the choice is going to be up to you. So do your research, guys, and then uh, decide whether or not you want to try out this Taken King. And don't worry, guys. Halo 5 is on the way, and there's going to be a lot more content for Halo coming very soon. And not just from me. I think the Halo community itself is just going to wake up in general because it's just going to be so much fun. And people are going to be enjoying it all over again. But that's it for this one, guys. Enjoy the video. Uh, this is Chris Spartan, and I am out of here.